apocalypse. The apocalypse never changes. Except in this case, when it's brought upon by a man and his dog. We rejoin our two heroes, the postal dude and his beloved sidekick champ, as they narrowly escape the nuclear destruction of their apocalyptic weekend escapades. Having braved everything the world could throw at them this past week, all seems well for the two. Yep, looks like everything worked out pretty good in the end. Eh, champ? Unfortunately for them, their triumph would be short-lived. <laughs> what the stupid dog? The dude hastily turns about in pursuit of his loyal companion, speeding down the way from whence he came. The ever-expanding mushroom cloud looming over the horizon only grows larger as he nears. However, it's not the imminent radioactive fallout that proves to be the greatest danger. Ah, ah this damn head wound. Crap. Not now. Ah. Trapped in the inky blackness of his mind, the dude suffers terrifying, frightful images of a future gone wrong. I regret nothing. <gasps> he awakens with a shock. It was all just a horrible nightmare. Or was it? A concerned Good Samaritan stands idly by. Are you all right? <sighs> it's this damn bullet lodged in my brain from when my hateful ex-wife drove me to shoot myself. <coughs> <coughs> but I think I'm just fine now. <coughs> what the hell was that? Mysterious voice changing aside, the postal dude learns he has miraculously recovered from an 11-year radiation-induced coma. He now stands at the outskirts of an unfamiliar town. If he wishes to find his lost dog champ, he'll have to begin his search there. The Good Samaritan offers one final piece of assistance. Take this map fragment to guide you as you begin your journey. It looks like you have an interesting day ahead of you, so I'll leave you to your own devices. Good luck. Armed with nothing but a tattered map piece and a box of matches, our intrepid hero takes the first tentative steps into the unknown town. Yet strangely, one that seems somewhat familiar. <sighs> Guess it's back to the old grind. I better ask around to see if anyone's seen Champ recently. I'm sure these townspeople will be a lot of help. Hmm, I suppose I can just ask anybody. Maybe Champ ended up at a local animal control center. Wouldn't be the first time. Let's see. Guess I need to go here for that. And while I'm at it, I might as well get a bite to eat. You really work up an appetite after 11 years. Hmm. Ah, there's a cock Asian in town. I hope they didn't make a hot dog out of Champ.
excuse me, have you seen this lost dog? <laughs> Strange. Maybe someone else can clue me in. Hi there. Have you seen this adorable pooch recently? <gasps> hmm, that was odd. Guess I need to keep asking around. Pardon me, can you identify the lost canine in this photo? Oh my god! Jeez, again? I wonder what's spooking everyone. Hey, you with the face, have you seen this dog before? It's horrible! Fuck, I think I'm beginning to sense a pattern here. You there. What do you think about the dog in this photo? Holy shit! Ah! Yeah, that's what I thought would happen. Hey, before you freak out in terror, can you tell me anything you know about this? Holy fuck! Oh! And yet another reaction of pure terror. Better keep checking around. Hey, fuckhead, are you just gonna run around screaming if I show you this picture? It's horrible! Ah! What a surprise. You better tell me right now what you know about this dog, or I'll follow you home and kill your dog. You, you should go speak to the wise man. He knows all around these parts. Well, wasn't that enlightening? Guess I better go see this wise man. I bet he knows something useful. Now where is that? That looks like the place. Ugh, a long line. Figures. Maybe this highly touted mystery meat will be worth the wait, though. Too easy. Oh my god! Those wild dogs are attacking the restaurant! Why does this not surprise me? Help! Help me! Help me! more of that good stuff. Ow. <laughs> 
That's the ticket. Making friends already, I see. I should keep my eye out for this bunch in the future. Creature Control Center and Pets. What can I do for you? Yeah, I'm searching for a herd of ostriches. Been missing for about 17 years. <coughs> no, that's not it. I've been searching for my lost dog. You should check the kennels in the back. It's just around the corner past the elephant cage. Thanks. So that's what that smells like. Him. Well, that's not right. Nope, not him. Uh-uh. You gotta be fucking... That's not champ. Nope, looks like champ wasn't here. Come on, everyone. Who's with me? It's time for us to liberate our furry friends! Taste freedom, my animal companions! What the? Aw, does our little pachyderm pal want to show his appreciation? These little simians are looking restless. Maybe I ought to let them out for some fresh air. Hey, who 
are you? Butt sauce. Get out! You go, girl. My president is Chuck Heston. <laughs> I feel better already. I don't feel so good. Whoa, now the flowers will grow. Hey. I feel like shit. That's the ticket. Draws a bitch. Oh, oh man, I'm going to be scared. My intros back in.
Hmm, <laughs> that stuff really works. feel better already. Knock, knock. Anyone here? Hey, wise guy. I am looking for some information. just talking to a wise man you're talking to the wise wang you have entered the domain of crotchet the wise wang the source of infinite wisdom and shit what knowledge is it that you seek oh shaded one uh yeah i'm looking for the dog in this photo ah i see you're searching for the legendary el perro loco few are brave enough to embark on such a journey and even fewer have returned to tell the tale and what a grand tale it is Luckily for you, I've got this educational film strip prepared just for the occasion. Roll that beautiful post-apocalyptic footage, Larry! You have got it, K-Man. So what, just because I'm the sidekick, I gotta do the crap jobs? Friggin' sprockets. Yeah, I'll give you my 35 millimeters, all right. Hey, is it in focus? Nah, like I give a shit. Our tale begins 11 years ago when our town was nearly destroyed by the detonation of a nuclear device, the cause of which is still yet unknown today. The resulting radioactive fallout from this explosion altered the landscape in dramatic fashion, creating distinct weather zones as one travels closer to the site of the blast. It was at this time it is said a lone canine, lost in the wild, entered the town's borders searching for food and perhaps his former home. As he ventured deeper into the town, the high levels of radiation mutated them into a beast of unspeakable horror, before too long becoming dubbed the legendary El Perro Loco. He terrorized the surviving population for years until he moved to the heart of the town, the very ground zero of our nuclear destruction. There, he was permanently sealed off in the aptly named Hellhole, where he resides to this day. Fine, no backstory for you, bitch. But before you go, heed this word of warning. A dark side I sense in you. Beware for this sinister force lies inside your very mind, growing more and more powerful by the day. And with those final words, I must leave you. Sayonara, bitch. <laughs> A dark force growing inside my mind? What the hell was he talking about? <coughs> I feel perfectly fine. Yep. Not feeling a single thing out of the ordinary here. <coughs> right. Looks like I've got my week cut out for me. Brave some extreme weather zones, endure a little radiation, and finally find and rescue Champ. But who could I possibly find out here to help me get that far? What the hell is that supposed to be? Oh great, these guys again. No fucking way you pieces of shit, not while I'm around. Vince? Hey dude, it's been a while, where you been these past few years? Just resting, but now I'm in the process of finding my lost dog champ. Don't suppose you'd be willing to lend a hand? What? Listen, man, I'd love to help, but nothing's free. Tell you what, I've got some action I could throw you away. Here, Take care of this for me and I'll see what I can do. Come on, I'll tell you all about it at my church. Look out. Take Wait, you have a church? Ah, there you are, dude. Hope you had a good night's rest. <sighs> to be honest, there was some terrible racket going on all night. 
Forget about it. It's just those fucking zombie assholes in the cemetery next door. Anyway, welcome to the Church of the VD Clan, where the love is infectious. In these hollowed halls, I'm known as Papa Desi, Chief Big Dick. That's well. Now about Champ. No problem, man. I know the secret for how you can find Champ and cure him of his monstrous condition. Before you know it, you'll both be happy and healthy. Actually, about that. <clears throat> I still got this bullet in my head, and it seems to be affecting my voice from time to time as if some psychotic alternate persona is slowly taking over my mind, and... Enough of that. I'll tell you the secret of finding Champ once you take care of a few things. Here, you'll need this map fragment to guide you through the day. The church is running low on toilet paper, and we're not about to start using our hands. Buy a roll before it gets messy around here. The store's right here. My boys have developed a hot new game that's poised to take the town by storm. Deliver these motherboards to the local arcade so the public can enjoy it. There's the arcade. But it turns out some scumbag competitors are trying to develop a cheap ripoff of our game. Pay them a visit and liquidate some of their gear for us. And those assholes are over there. Now get your ass out there and don't come back till you're finished. Boy, whatever happened to the good old-fashioned expansion pack? Not that I care about video games, I mean. the ticket. That's the Sick. ticket. Salutations! I'm here to deliver this season's hot new game sensation courtesy of Papa Desi. I'm sorry, but I cannot accept a video game that espouses such vile and immoral filth. I must reject your violent game on my moral grounds. You better accept this game unless you want to see your insides strewn across those moral grounds. You got spunk. I like that. Tell you what, meet me in the back room and maybe we can work out a deal. Oh, 
definitely got to find more of that good stuff. You see, I run a little business on the side. You might say I'm the kingpin of a massive gun trafficking operation, but you didn't hear that from me. Right now, I only need a few extra firearms to complete my next shipment. Just drop the right guns into those crates, and I'll be happy to take that game off your hands. Oops, my bad. How am I going to deliver these motherboards now? Hey, Brainiac, why not just install the motherboards into the arcade cabinets yourself? the first day of the end of your lives. Close enough. stuff.
How may I wipe you today? How's it going? Been better. No worries. Is this everything? Uh-huh. That'll be 496 bucks. I'm not paying that. Let's work this out peacefully. You want some drama? I'll give you some drama. <laughs> what is my wipe out, kid? Sup. <laughs> Welcome to the wipe house. How may I wipe you today? Sup. Doing pretty good. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to the wipe house. How may I wipe you today? <laughs> Welcome to the wipe house. How may I wipe you today? Hi there. I'd like your finest roll of ass wipes, please. That'll be five hundred twenty-six dollars. Hmm. Oh, that's um. the ticket. Ooh, an edged weapon. Someone could lose a limb. <laughs> yeah. Get the hell out of here. Suppose this is covered by the Second Amendment? I don't feel so good. Ah! Ooh, edged weapon. Someone could lose a limb. <laughs> yeah. Man, I gotta stop smoking this crap. That was rather rash of me. How am I gonna get the toilet paper now? Why not head through that employee's only door and help yourself? Mission accomplished. I don't feel so good. Shit. Drop it, asshole! We got a situation here! Thing would cut through a tank to find more of that good stuff. 
show wings. I feel better already. I suppose it's time to carry out a little corporate warfare. Suppose this is covered by the Second Amendment? accomplished with extreme prejudice and it looks like the day is done time to return to the church Sorry, apparently I'm feeling a little sorry. 
I feel better. That's the stuff. What the hell is this shit? I don't know, but it looks pretty cool to me. Now the flowers will grow. I feel like shit. Man, I gotta stop smoking this crap. I'm guessing these guys won't be too pleased the next time we meet up. Better stay frosty. Great job, dude. The church really appreciates the work you put in. Right. Uh, now about Champ. Yeah, you want to find and cure Champ. Have no fear. For I have the knowledge you need to know. Yes, sir, I, and I alone, possess the secret. And all I need to do now is tell you that little thing. To find and cure champ, that one single secret you need to know is... What the? Oh, shit! These zombie assholes are breaking in from the fucking cemetery! Remember, to take these guys out, you gotta go for the head. Speaking of getting head... How's it going? Vince? Oh great, now my day is complete. Nothing personal, man, but you're fired from life. Damn, he's being overrun. I better find a way. really works. I, gotta ah, mm -hmm. I feel better already. already.
Prince and his clan. And who do we have here? Uh, don't mind me. I'm just passing through. Holy me! It's the dude! Vince's second in command! You're the tyrant who exterminated so many of our kind and whipped my ass 11 years ago. Quick, my minions! Take him prisoner! Oops. We have some unfinished business to take care of. You're gonna be spending the night in the junkyard. Hell, what a day that was. I saw my former employer become one of the undead, got captured by a horde of mad cow Tourette zombies, and finally ended up imprisoned in the junkyard of a demonic bovine overlord. And despite all that, I'm still no closer to finding Champ. Yep, looks like it's another fine mess you've gotten yourself into. How do you plan to get out of this one, Skippy? Uh, say, I've been meaning to ask, is there someone else hanging around inside my mind? Oh, pay no attention to me. I'm just that little voice in the back of your head. But don't you worry. I'll be out of your hair soon enough. Don't look now, but your friend Beelzebeth is headed this way. It is my lady ho! It is my love! Soon we'll be together in loving matrimony! But first, I need to take care of that cash flow problem! You there! The dreaded undead oppressor! I need your help! I have just met the true love of my life, and we are set to be wed today! Our marriage will be beautiful, but there are still errands to be completed before the ceremony! My zombie minions are too brain dead to be of any use, so you will perform these tasks for us! And what's in it for me? Help us, and we won't feast upon your flesh and wear your shredded entrails as neckties! Hmm, fair enough. What do I have to do? I require money in order to satisfy my soon-to-be-wed wife's insatiable chocolate habit. It would be immoral to take your cash, so we'll earn the funds the good old-fashioned way, through a scam charity. Just ask any yokel you can find in town for donations. Charity money will only get us so far. Bring me a breast pump so that I may make a fortune selling my kosher daddy's milk to the public. There should be one at the local old Coots farm, and be sure to get the kosher model. My teats are sensitive. I plan to spend our honeymoon in our wondrous new home, but the damn air conditioner is broken. Find some AC parts so we can build a new unit. I'm sure you can find at least one part somewhere in this trash heap. Check the insolent humans market to see if any of the dealers has a part for sale. And I've heard those crazies at the loony bin worship one of the pieces. Ransack the place! Finish these tasks, and I promise your head won't end up on a pike. Maybe. Excuse me, can you spare some cash for this slightly suspect charity I'm collecting for? Hi there, want to chip in to support this conveniently indeterminate cause? Next. Hey you, how about offering to help some poor unspecified group of today's society? Now the flowers will grow. Excuse me, can you spare some cash for this slightly suspect charity I'm collecting for? That's the ticket. Former child star Zach Ward? What a rotten name. 
Looks like he's loaded in cash, though, so maybe I should give this Winter Wonderland compound a visit. Say, it looks like former child star Zack Ward has opened his Winter Wonderland compound to the public. Maybe you should stop by and see if he's willing to part with those child star royalties. Excuse me, can you spare some cash for this slightly suspect charity I'm collecting for? Okay, I'll do it. What the hell? That's barely anything at all. How could I possibly collect that much money? Hey you, how about offering to help some poor unspecified group of today's society? I'm sorry. You gotta be fucking kidding. Hi there. Want to chip in to support this conveniently indeterminate cause? I'm sorry. You gotta be fucking kidding. I know you've got some unwanted cash burning a hole in your pocket. Hand it over. Okay, I guess that sounds pretty good. Shit, still next to nothing. This is gonna take forever. Hey you, how about offering to help some poor unspecified group of today's society? think so, Piedrero. Shit. Look, maybe I'll stop bothering you if you just cough up some cash already. Sure thing. Thanks a lot, cheapskate. Guess I'm gonna be collecting for a while. Hi there. Want to chip in to support this conveniently indeterminate cause? I'm sorry. You gotta be fucking kidding. Come on, look into your heart and dig deep into those pockets. Okay, I guess that sounds pretty good. Another stingy donation. I wonder if there's a better way. Hey you, how about offering to help some poor unspecified group of today's society? Sorry, yo. Shit. Donate to my charity, damn it. Sorry, yo. You gotta be fucking kidding. Are you gonna show some generosity or will I have to beat it into you? Absolutely not. I guess the next air conditioning part is inside one of these three buildings. Looks like I need to get searching. Ah. Nope, the AC part isn't here. Must be in one of these other two buildings. Would you like to make a generous donation to this dubious charity? Damn, the AC part isn't here either. Well, third time's a charm.
already. There it is. Guess they were right. It's always in the last place you look. Mm. I gotta find more of that good stuff. Funny thing is, I don't even like video games. Excuse me, can you spare some cash for this slightly suspect charity I'm collecting for? Fuck you! You gotta be fucking kidding. Come on, look into your heart and dig deep into those pockets. Fuck you! Shit. Here's the deal. You make a donation, and you won't end up as food for the worms in the next five seconds. You're under arrest, shitbag! <laughs> Hi there. Want to chip in to support this conveniently indeterminate cause? I'm sorry. You gotta be fucking kidding. Look, maybe I'll stop bothering you if you just cough up some cash already. Okay, I'll do it. Hey, Einstein. You're only getting scraps from these peasants. Why not take a visit to that movie star, Zach Ward guy? I'll bet he's loaded. Would you like to make a generous donation to this dubious charity? Get the hell out of here, you lunatic! Oh! Hi there. Want to chip in to support this conveniently indeterminate cause? Hey you, how about offering to help some poor, unspecified group of today's society? donation to this dubious charity? Excuse me, can you spare some cash for this slightly suspect charity I'm collecting for? I'm sorry. Shit. Come on, look into your heart and dig deep into those pockets. No way, you freaking pinko. You gotta be fucking kidding. Are you gonna show some generosity or will I have to beat it into you? 
to you. How about offering to help some poor, unspecified group of today's society? Sorry, yo. Shit. Donate to my charity, damn it. Sorry, yo. You gotta be fucking kidding. Here's the deal. You make a donation, and you won't end up as food for the worms in the next five seconds. Fuck that. Definitely need more of that. Who goes there? Who dares disturb the great Jack Wood? Hey, former child star. How about sharing some of those child star royalties for this clearly on the level charity I've got here? Listen, jerk. You better watch your tongue, for you're standing in the presence of greatness. I am Zack Ward, leader of the Farsi clan here at my wondrous Winter Wonderland compound and world-renowned actor extraordinaire. <laughs> yeah, I can't say I'm familiar with your body of work. Now, how about that donation? What? What, are you kidding me? How can you not know who I am? What, have you never seen Titus? Transformers, Resident Evil Apocalypse, Blood Rain 2, Alone in the Dark 2, Dark House. Come on, almost famous? Really? I was a Mike and Molly dude. I live and Maddie, you watch the Disney? No? I, I did Army of Two, The Devil's Cartel. Great video game. That was a really good video game. NYPD. Blue. Twice. Nothing? Dick. Nope. Doesn't ring a bell. And not even the beloved and cherished holiday American classic, A Christmas Story? It comes out every year for 24 hours, dude. Come on, there's a marathon! Never heard of it. Say, what's up with those yellow eyes? You high on something? Ho oh, ho ho! That's it, bitch. Good stuff. Huh? 
should feel better already. stuff. Maybe it's just me, but I'm sensing a bit of hostility here. I suppose I should be wary of this crowd from now on. I sure wouldn't want to upset them further. Get down if you don't want to die. Suppose this is covered by the Second Amendment? Welcome to my humble milk farm. Have you come to indulge yourself on my delicious milk? Uh, no thanks. Before I begin retching uncontrollably, let me tell you, I'm here looking for a particular item. You wouldn't happen to have an oversized breast pump suitable for a towering, demonic Jewish cow demon, would you? 
You're in luck, Sonny. I just happen to have a genuine beefy suckomatic right here, and it's the kosher model, too. I'm willing to part with it, but I have no use for your Yankee dollars. I'll tell you what, though. Take this bucket. My herd's in need of a good milking. Do that and the pump is yours. My meadow's just down that passageway. I think Daisy here has given all she's got. I suppose that's as good a job as any. Anyhow, a deal's a deal, I reckon. Uh, this here oversized breast pump is all yours. Don't have too much fun with it. Now, would you kindly get the hell off my lawn? Piece of cake.
Oh no! Whoa, ho, in a gotta de vida, baby. I feel better already. And another one bites the dust. Better check on those guys back at the junkyard. I'm sure those cannibalistic zombies will be most appreciative of my efforts. I feel better already. Glad that crap's over. Now that I'm done with his chores, maybe that demon cow guy can help me find Champ. I can't imagine what else could go wrong today. You're just in time for the wedding ceremony! My true love and I will spend our honeymoon in our wondrous new home! Quick! Be my best man! Wait, wedding? And what house? Hey, that's my home. But who would want to live in my shitty trailer aside from me and my ex Y A Uh oh. Did you remember my rocky road? That voice. But it can't be. Oh my god. It's my hateful ex-wife. And she's thin. That's right. I was able to lose the pounds after I left your sorry ass. How dare you come here on this beautiful day? I'll teach you to show your face again! Now I recognize her. Anyway, I think my business is done here. Can I go now? Home wrecker! This is all your fault! You've ruined my wedding day and turned my hot bitch of a wife into a fat slag! You are banished from my junkyard, and I'll make certain that all zombie kind will condemn you for all eternity! You know, I think I'm just fine with that. Crap, today was a complete bust. I'm a little closer to the heart of the town, but even if I find Champ, what am I supposed to do about his supposed radioactive condition? Halt, tall one. The time is now ours, the blessed pine side. 
to rise from the depths and overthrow those who tower above us, and you shall be the first of many sacrifices in our holy war against the tall. Whoa there, little buddies. I mean you no harm, for now at least. I'm just passing through these parts to find and cure my highly irradiated dog from his mutant form. You speak of the legendary El Perro Loco? He wishes to cure the beast of his colossal form, to take what is big and make it small. He must be one of us. We have misjudged you, tall one. Clearly one who wishes to shrink what is large thinks as we do. Come with us. It's on tomorrow. You shall meet with our leader who is sure to lend his aid in your quest. Quick, bring him to the coal mine. Spending the night in a dank, putrid cave on a mattress built for a midget. My, what wonderful places you bring us to. Shut up, Brain. I'm not in the mood to deal with you right now. Short-tempered today, are we? Speaking of short, here comes one of those midget guys. Follow me, tall one. Our leader is now ready to speak with you. Forgive me for asking, but aren't you a little tall for a midget? What you talking about, asshole? I am midget as well, just exceptionally tall. Nonetheless, we call you today to aid you in quest to find El Perro Loco. You're talking about finding Champ? Yes, when you find El Perro Loco, you must use Cure to ensmallen the Colossal Beast. We can construct cure for you, but you must also prove devotion to the Coleman, for you are also tall, like the ones above who mock our height. Show your worthiness to the Coleman by opposing your fellow tall ones. To create cure, we require right chemicals. Bring chemicals to us so we can begin procedure. Get chemicals at Chemical Factory. We require new technology to even stature on battlefield against the tall ones. We need mechanical stilts. Get prototype pair at Robotics Factory. We will strike great blow against the tall ones by subverting their entertainment. Crush their karaoke entertainment here. Now head forth and serve the Coleman proud. Go fuck yourself. Fuck you. Huh? Fuck off. Go fuck Keep yourself. Moving.
Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> now the flowers will grow. Fuck you. out on me. Hello, hey, how about some service here? I definitely need mm, more of that. No one's looking. May as well just walk in and help yourself. And done. I am the Vendicure Model XJ2. Please step forward and urinate. Thanks for the urine. <laughs> yes. The Vendicure XJ-2 is a complete success. We'll have the rest of these units serving the public in no time. Did you see what that guy just did? Good God, that is disgusting! Let's tear this meat bag a new piss hole. Executing pissed off robot mode sequence. I'll flush you up, mother Great flusher! Scott! The robots are rebelling! Uh, uh, Badu Baradu something! What the? Still me. down. Fuck you, buddy. Fuck off. Fuck you, buddy. Doors are 
closing. Please stand clear. Airline shield. Equalizing pressure. Warning. Low oxygen environment. Biological pulmonary hazard area. Supplemental respiratory equipment required. Section FTG 12. Fire testing grounds. Alert. Unauthorized opening of FTG Airline 12A. Definitely need more of that. Ah, I gotta find more of that good stuff. Convenient. Are you crazy? There's no way I'm opening that door until the area is clear of these killer robots. Definitely need more of it. That was the last of them. I'll unlock the door now. Fuck you, pal. Do you suppose this is covered by the Second That's Amendment? <laughs> That's no the ticket. Fuck you! Stop right there! Stop right there! Stop rushing! 
Fuck you. What the <laughs> Hi there, I'm in the market for some noxious, unregulated chemicals. Please take a number and wait until it's your turn to be served. Please wait until it's your turn to be served. Watch it, Jimmy Joe Bob. You can't go around damaging the inventory like that. Those city folk could grow wise to the fact that we ain't producing real chemicals. Oh, lighten up, Lester. It's not like those dumb yuppie boys can tell the difference between our brew and their fancy pants chemicals. Hey, who's that guy? Huh? Found the horn, Jimmy Joe Bob. We got ourselves a trespasser. Yeehaw! It's gotta hurt. Yeah. Crowd, there's plenty for everyone. I know what you're thinking, but the funny thing is. I feel, mm -hmm. I feel, I gotta find more of that good stuff. Strange, I can't escape this odd sense of deja vu here. Maybe it'd refresh your memory if you were decked out in some skin-tight leather.
Damn, here I was, my own business, just enjoying my Second Amendment rights, and you people have to freak out on me. I definitely need more of that. I feel better already. Mission accomplished with extreme prejudice. Hmm. This can't be good for me, but I feel great. Hmm. <laughs> Got him. Yeah, nice hit. Quick, grab whatever he has. Whoa, what the hell is this? I don't know, man, but it looks potent. Our leader will surely be pleased. Come on, bring all this stuff back to the hideout. Ah, damn, what the hell just happened? Looks like some helpful townsfolk decided to lighten your load for you. Without the pesky hassle of asking you first, of course. Shit, they stole the chemicals. I'm gonna need to get those back. Where could they have gone to? I think they mentioned something about a hideout. It doesn't take a genius to guess where you'll be headed next. Gotta get that syringe back if I want to have any hope of curing Champ. Let's see. It looks like this is the hideout they went to. Fuck you. What the? Fuck you, pal.
Now the flowers will grow. Go fuck yourself. We have a crossy day. Get the you fuck down. We have a crossy day. Shitbag! Get the fuck on the ground, asshole! What the? Darling, sweetie, sweetie, darling. How are you, pumpkin? you again I pressed the button wiped out society hey, that really <laughs> that was terrible. it's getting radioactive in here so put on your hazmat suit <laughs> man I gotta stop smoking this crap if you want to be my nuclear reaction you gotta get with my fission <laughs> who let the beasts out? Who, 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 who let the beasts out? Who, 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 who? You're awful. You suck. Too easy. <sighs> this can't be good for me, but I feel great. Hey, have a crotchy day. Hey, have a cry today.
Hey, look, there's some of your stuff. I bet if you search around, you'll find the rest of the items you carelessly misplaced. Invite a guest? Welcome, stranger. If you've come to take something that belongs to me, you're gonna have to fight for it. Say hello to my big dick. Ah, that's the stuff. Whoa, get it out of the beer. Another one bites the dust. Guess I'm done here. Better check with Gary and see if the little guy will stay true to his word. I doubt there will be any more of that. Another day, another group offended. I should probably stay clear of these folks if I value my health. Big McWillis pleased your success. We struck mighty blow against the tall ones. They soon shall crumble under the might of the coal men. <laughs> right, well don't quit your day job. Say, about that cure for champ. Indeed, Big Mick Willis shall construct cure. Cure will ensmall in the oversized El Perro logo. Hand over chemicals. This delicate procedure. Please provide silence as we must concentrate. Say, an open mic night? I guess it's been a while since I've given my vocal cords a good workout. 
I don't feel better. <laughs> I feel like a fire. Mm. I definitely need more of that. Fuck. How would you laugh? I'm an equal opportunity. Yeah, we burning this BS. I feel bad gonna find more of that good stuff. Maybe that minecart might help me get out of here. I feel better off. I'm sorry, apparently I'm feeling a little psychotic this morning. this morning. Yeah, that's what they all say. I, I gotta find, I definitely need more of that. Apparently, I feel better. I feel like, ah, that's the, the stuff. Ow! I gotta find more of that good stuff.
stuff. Sorry. I feel better already. This can't be good for me. Well, there's another day down the crapper. At least I've got a cure to treat Champ's radioactive condition. But I still haven't found him yet. I don't suppose I'll be able to manage that on my own. So I wonder what crazy homicidal faction I'll run into next. Alright, let's get this over with. Flip, put down your weapon. I mean you no harm. You are free to be mistaken. And Al-Qaeda is a peace-loving group, loving of all races and creeds. We only wish to support our fellow men in their times of need. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my head wound. I see you are truly one in need of help. Come with me, friend. For you are in no state to brave the night on your own. Al-Qaeda shall accommodate you until you are feeling better. It's just another horrible dream. Wait a second, my head wound. It's not hurting anymore. Shit, that's a relief. Maybe things are finally starting to look up. Morning, sunshine. Gah, who the hell are you? My evil twin? I'm you, genius. I was just feeling a bit stuffy hanging around in that noggin of yours, so I figured I'd step out for some fresh air. I'm afraid I can't hang around and chat, though. If you'll excuse me, I'm off to find my lost dog, Champ. Wait a minute, your lost dog? Greetings, friend. It is good to see you are now on your feet. I beg your pardon for overhearing, but it sounds like you are searching for a legendary El Perro Loco. Yeah, I'm looking for my dog, Champ. What of it? You have made it far, but one last obstacle remains at your path. The canine beast you seek dwells at the heart of the town, but he was sealed off long ago at the hellhole. This seal is virtually impenetrable, but our expertise in explosives can make short work of that. Well, I suppose I don't have any choice. Excellent! Al-Qaeda is most placed to resist you in your spirited endeavor. Simply bring us their materials and we shall fabricate the ID you need. To create the bomb, we will need C4. But only those whack jobs doomsday survivalists would still have any around these parts. This is where you will find their encampment. Parade carefully, for they do not appreciate visitors. We will also need a blasting cap. But you won't find many of those out in the wild. However, a former associate of ours may still have one left in his stock. You will find a store here. Say hello to the old friend for me. And uh, as a personal favor to us, we would appreciate if you went to our local medicinal herb supplier and pruned his harvest. It seems he's having troubles with his employees. Our supplier's compound is here. Good luck, brother, and may Allah watch over you.
Go fuck yourself. I guess this must be the medicinal herb farm. I wonder who's in charge here. Hey, dude! Uncle Dave? What are you doing here? Oh, that religious cult stuff wasn't panning out, so I moved into the herb business. You know, go green and stuff. It's good for the environment, I think. What brings you around these parts? Uh, I was sent to do some pruning. Oh, right! We've been having trouble with that lately. Our guys never seem to feel like doing any work. Take this sanctioned pruning device. It's pretty sensitive, so be careful. You have to take care of three greenhouses, one out front, one in the gym, and one out back, or I might be wrong. I'm totally messed up right now. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Looks like our informant was correct. We got ourselves a marijuana farm growing right under our noses. Move in, team. It's time we weed these potheads out of this joint. Ah, uh, hell, it's the narcs. These guys are such a buzzkill. Keep on pruning, dude. I'll cover you from these downers. Looks like I can use this radio to call out to Uncle Dave.
now the flowers will grow.
Fuck you, buddy. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you, pal. Fuck off. Snowed in. I bet I can find an alternate entrance, though. Hello, and what do you want? Hi, you wouldn't happen to have any blasting caps for sale, would you? That'll be five hundred dollars. You gotta be fucking kidding. Looks like the blasting cap is kept behind the counter. Too easy. My brethren, we have finally been called back to the surface. It's now time for us to cleanse the world of all post-apocalyptic abominations and reclaim what is ours. Ow! I wonder if this thing would cut through a tin can and still make it. Ah! Suppose this is covered by the Second Amendment? Just call me Ginsu. I knew that stuff wasn't good for me. Fuck you. Fuck you, pal. Keep moving. I gotta find more that I feel like shit. Help bite my ass. That stuff is addictive. <sighs> fuck off. Get the fuck on the ground. Get down asshole. if you don't want to die. Fuck. 
that's the stuff. I feel better already. I can, I can find more of that good These doomsday survivalist guys look pretty serious. Well, maybe I can swipe some of that C4 without causing too much of a fuss. So much for that quiet approach. Somebody called you a lunatic. Mission accomplished with extreme prejudice. Suppose I should head back now. I hope those Al Qaeda guys can make good on their promise.
here I was minding my own business, just enjoying my Second Amendment rights. And you people took a freak out on me. I've become public enemy number one in the eyes of yet another community. Must be my charming personality at work. Booyah! Welcome back, friend. It's good to see you have returned safely. Gee, that's mighty kind of you. Are you sure you're not still bitter over those, uh, shall I say, past incidents? It is water under the bridge now. Al-Qaeda has turned over a new leaf and shall always support our fellow man regardless of our differences. Hand me those bomb pieces you acquired and I shall assemble the IED you need. Thanks. There, it is ready. Remember, you must use this explosive device to destroy the seal at the hellhole. It is down this path you will find your lost dog. Farewell, friend, and may you have good fortune in rescuing your royal companion. Thanks. You know, I suppose I misjudged you Al-Qaeda boys. You guys aren't so bad after all. Guess I'll be on my way now. Oh, and sorry about that whole 72 virgins thing not working out for you. Hmm. We were promised 72 virgins for the destruction of infidels, weren't we? Yes, it is not too late to make good on that promise, is it? Shit. So I finally got directions to find Champ, a syringe full of a dubious chemical to cure him, and an improvised explosive device to blow the seal that will lead me there. I should be getting out of here with Champ in no time. What was that? Shit, looks like someone's beat me to the punch. But who else would want to head this way? Well, I guess I got an extra IED now. Never know when one might come in handy.
just got red on you. Come on, champ. You here? Come on, boy. Uh, good champ. Heal. Right. I never taught him that one. Guess I'll have to do it the hard way. Champ, come on, boy. Hey, pal, what do you think you're doing? I'm here to take possession of my beloved canine champ. I appreciate your help, but your services will no longer be needed. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be taking my dog and leaving. Your dog? He's my dog. No, he's my dog. 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 He's my dog! Oh, great. It's the bitch. You know her? Know her? She's married to the hag. What do you think you're doing here? I don't remember giving you custody of the dog. Actually, dear, I don't think we ever got that divorce. Hmm, <laughs> that's right. In that case, until death do us part. That's the end of that chapter. Ah! Hmm, so that was really something. Well, good luck in your attempt to rescue your dog. I thought he was your dog. 
Are you crazy enough to follow the bitch into that? Just for a dog? Watch me. Champ, I'll get you out of there. I knew you would be dumb enough to show your face here. You always were thick-headed. But that's no matter, because that's the last mistake you're going to make. This is where you die. expected that coming from you. I suppose I appreciate your help back there. It's no problem. In retrospect, I think we may have a bit more in common than you think. Well, maybe there's some good in that twisted mind of yours after all. <laughs> Thanks. Trust me, it was no trouble at all. I regret nothing. It's good to have you back, champ. If there's one thing in the world worth going to hell and back for, it's my loyal companion. Damn, another apocalypse. You'd figure I'd be used to this kind of thing by now. Oh well, better weigh my options. Hmm, as long as you're on the way, I could drop by every faction's home base to thank them for their invaluable help. Or maybe I should just get my ass out of here before somebody shoots it off. And that's where I go to leave this shithole once and for all. About time.
My brothers, we must renounce our peace-loving ways. It is the will of Allah that we rain pillars of fire upon all infidels who oppose us. This land will be ours for the taking. And we will begin our holy war with the death of infidel number one. Prepare to eat lead goat sucker. My president is Chuck Heston. Here's your reading in damn jerky. Freak out on me. That's the ticket. I feel better already. Suppose this is not the second amendment. Can't be good for me, but I feel. This can't be good for me, but I feel great. Can't be good. Don't crowd, there's no for everyone. 
on. the stuff. Oh, you think you're the postal dude just because you got a coat, sunglasses, and that stupid voice? No, I'm the real postal dude, and I'm ready to kill you to prove it. Shut your eye, think fast, jerk. What the stuff? Can't be good for me, but I feel great. Don't worry, there's plenty for everyone.
minding my own business, just enjoying my Second Amendment rights, and you people have to freak out on me. It's your fault my marriage is in shambles, and this apocalypse you brought upon us has ruined my chances of starting my kosher daddy's milk business! And after all that, you dare bring yourself back to my lair? You must die! This can't be good for me.
Sorry about sending you down that bottomless chasm earlier. No hard feelings, right? You bitch! I got your willies right here! Personal man, but you're fired. I gotta find more of that good stuff. Walls are melting. Groovy. I gotta find more. I feel better already.
And so, with the defeat of the last faction leader, the last obstacle standing before the postal dude fell. With none left to oppose him, he would become the ruler supreme of this lost paradise. He was no longer a mere man or dude, for he was forever to be revered in the eyes of the people as the Postal God. And that, kiddies, concludes our tale. Tune in next week, same time, same place, for the continuing adventures in the life of the Postal Dude. And remember, whatever you do, have no regrets. <laughs>
They knew there was something to be learned from their experience. They came face to face with a true demonstration of the tenacity of the human spirit. The people of this town rose from the ashes of a nuclear apocalypse, dusted themselves off, and soldiered on. They're a true testament to the resolve and determination of humanity. And deep in their hearts, our two heroes knew that the denizens of this town were going to be just fine in their little slice of paradise. Or maybe not. Eh, fuck em. Come on, champ. We got adventures waiting elsewhere. Song that says 